जय हिंद व्यूवर्स इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन फॉन्ट तय इन पार्ट वन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एस टी एम डॉक्यूमेंट एंड इन पार्ट टू आई हैव डिस्कस्ड हेडिंग टैग इन एम एस वर्ल्ड वी क्रिएट डॉक्यूमेंट इन एस टी एम एल वी क्रिएट वेब पेज डॉक्यूमेंट In this tutorial, I am going to show you creating a document in MS Word and for the same kind, same for the same uh, text created in MS Word. We'll create a web page document using HTML code. For setting the font in HTML, we have been provided a tag called font tag. Font tag. uses three attributes color for changing the color of the text face for changing the face of the font so you can change any font as you say it in ms word the name of font the name of font is the face of font so any times new roman arial black arial algerian any font you can select and for that you have to write the name of uh, the font in the face attributes you can change color you can change size so how do we apply these attributes and font tag ultimately how do we use font tag now what we'll do one by one we'll see the document created in ms word and text selected in word file will be created in html so this is the file that we have created in microsoft word and now we will create for the same document a web page document for this you open uh, notepad and type the text as we have already typed the text that we have typed in microsoft word and only the thing left here is to set the formatting so first we'll select this objective of html part 3 and here in html what we need to do objective of html part uh, objective of html tutorial part 3 this is the text to be enclosed within the pair of font tag and the three attributes of font such as face which is algerian will set as algerian because it was there in word we set the face as algerian and the size there was 24 so here also the size 24 color as it was visible to you it was yellow so color parameter that is the value of attribute color should be yellow don't forget to close the font tag because it is one of the container tags now save the file and open the same file in a web browser you can reload or refresh the web page you may use f5 key for this f5 key is the shortcut key for reloading or refreshing the page now you have seen in the output the text was not at the center so to set the text at the center we need to use center tag and for this purpose we need to enclose the text within within the pair of center tag it is also container tag like this save the file again as i said press f5 key which is the shortcut key to refresh the page and you will see the output now objective of html tutorial part 3 was set at the center this is the time to set the text to set this text set font tag again for this text as in this text the face was times new roman color was white and size was i think it was 6 so we'll set 6 
close this again as earlier. Repeat the task, save the file, press F5 key to refresh the page and you will see this. Now this is the time to set the text font tag. Uh, for this, I don't think you need any explanation now. You already know. Now this much text to be enclosed within the pair of font tag and then we set the required parameters that is attributes. Uh, I think we are typing the same almost same code again and again. This is time consuming process. Is there any alternate? Yes, of course, you know. Alternate to this process is to copy the tag and paste it at the destination. See, this is time consuming process because we are not using here copy and paste command. Save the file again and refresh the page. Now see, we have done the formatting up to font tag. Now this is the time to select this one and write the code in HTML. See this time to save our time what we'll do, we'll copy the code and we'll paste the same at the destination. And then we'll change the required parameter. So this is the process that may save our time. This way. Since we have copied only the opening part of the tag and closing part still to be typed. Whatever the part is left to be completed. So we are closing the tag. Font. <laughs> Save and execute. That is refresh the page. And this way, you will see slowly, 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 you will get your web page document the same as you designed you format in MS Word. So designing or uh, say formatting the text in MS Word, formatting a document in MS Word is easier for you. So I suggest you to type the text in MS Word whatever the document you want to create in HTML, whatever the web page document, for the same you create a document file in MS Word and then set the parameters, set the tags in HTML. This is, I think, easy process for the beginners. And once if you are expert in HTML, then you don't need to create MS Word document and then HTML web page document. This is just for beginners. Since this HTML tutorial series is for beginners and therefore I am telling you all the process, all the process that will be fit for the beginners, fit to the beginners requirement in fact. Save the code finally and see it is it was not set at the center so set the center tag because the whole text now to be put at the center to be displayed at the center and for this purpose what we do yes this is what the output required finally you set the center tag like this You set the center tag only for that first line and not for the whole text. Now this is the time to set center tag for the whole text like this. Yes, close the tag. 
save the file save the file and uh, press F5 key now this is what exactly uh, we wanted this is the page that we tried to design finally arrange the tags as shown to avoid any confusion and misunderstanding you can arrange the code like this uh, keep one line gap so that everything is visible to you this is what the method that I would like to suggest to you I hope you have understood using font tag in HTML with this easy process now this is my request to see HTML part 1 and part 2 then only see part 3 for better understanding of part 3 thank you